The same concepts also apply to subtracting fractions. They have to be like fractions. In this case, we have a square divided into nine pieces. And you can see that four of those pieces are shaded. So this represents four ninths, this first diagram. The second diagram, again, we have a square divided into nine pieces. And you can see that three of them are shaded. So this diagram represents or is represented by the fraction 3 ninths. And you should be able to see that if you have 4 of something, in this case 4 ninths, and you subtract 3 of that something, then you're left with 1 of that something. So over here I can just shade in a single square. And that would be 1 out of the 9 squares, that would be 1 ninth. So this diagram up top, the whole top row, can be represented by an equation. We can say 4 ninths minus 3 ninths equals 1 ninth. Conceptually, the same point I was making about adding fractions applies here. We can simply take 4 and subtract 3 because the 4 and the 3 represent the same type of thing. In this case, they represent ninths. Just like having 4 apples and taking away 3 apples would leave you with 1 apple, having 4 ninths and taking away 3 ninths would leave you with 1 ninth. So these are like fractions, fractions that have the same denominator. And here are a few examples showing subtraction of like fractions. 6 sevenths minus 2 sevenths would be 4 sevenths, because 6 minus 2 is 4. Just like having 6 boxes and taking away 2 boxes would leave you with 4 boxes, or 6 apples minus 2 apples is 4 apples, 6 sevenths minus 2 sevenths leaves you with 4 sevenths. In this next example, both fractions have a denominator of 13. In other words, the 11 represents 11 thirteenths, and the 5 represents 5 thirteenths. So they are the same type of fraction. They are both thirteenths. They're like fractions. So we can just do 11 minus 5. That gives me 6. 11 thirteenths minus 5 thirteenths is 6 thirteenths. And in this one, they both have a denominator of 20, so they both represent twentieths. The 11 here means 11 of these things, 11 twentieths. And the 3 here means 3 of these things, 3 twentieths. Well, if we have 11 of these things and we subtract 3 of these things, that leaves us with 8 of these things, in this case, 8 twentieths. 11 twentieths minus 3 twentieths is 8 twentieths. And I notice that 8 and 20 are both even numbers, so they can both be divided by 2. So I can reduce this to 4 tenths. And when I do that, I see the 4 and the 10 are both still even numbers, so I can divide by 2 again. And I end up with 2 fifths, and that's in the, the lowest possible terms.